Boys and girls, welcome to the Popper's Luck channel. Oh boy, am I hungry. Let's get into it. Four packs, nice and easy. Little bit of leftovers. Let's see if we can pull anything nice. We'll start with um, Ikoria. And oh, actually, one way you know that these are made in Japan. So uh, currently for Australia, the distribution or the factories where they distribute the magic cards are either um, United States or Japan. This isn't made in Japan. The reason you can tell without even looking is it's really loose. You see how loose it is up here? Whereas these two are much firmer. So the, the ones that are made in United States are actually better. And you can see at the top here as well, there's a different pattern to the like stamp. Whereas the Japanese ones are more like little circles or rectangles. You see that? So this gotta be USA. Fabrique or Etats Unis, that's made in USA for anyone who doesn't speak French. I think I just butchered French, but yeah. Anyways, the same with this one here as well. Loose as a goose. Made in Rapon. Here we go. We'll start with the Ikoria one. Oh man, I just uh, pre ordered a um, couple of. Um, Double Masters VIP Edition booster uh, packs. Really looking forward to those ones. Are they overpriced? Absolutely. Yes, they are. But it's going to be interesting to see what kind of pulls you can get in those. Okay, let's get into it. So I think with the Japanese ones, the uh, rares are at the front. So here we go. Boom. Gigantha the Wellspring. A companion card. Cool. Ketria Crystal. Insatiable Hemaphase Showcase. Nice. We'll take it. Boneyard Lurker. Anything else that has value? Not really. But we will take it. Actually, I'll just put it here so you guys can see the cards. Put you there, little buddy. We'll put you there. Let's move on to the other loose as a goose pack. Corset 2021. Liliana, one of the cooler planeswalkers. Wow, imagine pulling a Teferi. That would be something, eh? Okay. Boom! Temple of Epiphany. Wack, wack, wack. Wah, 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 wah. Terrible pull. What a gorgeous artwork on this one. Hardfire Emulator. Human Wizard. Anything else worth mentioning? Not really. Moving on. Okay, let's do Throne of Eldraine. I think with this one, we could probably crack it open like this. Yeah, with the American ones, you can just up much more easily okay here we go and obviously it's the uh, opposite of the Japanese ones the rares are always at the back give her an apple sir wink, 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 wink. ok 
Okay, here we go. Embreath Shieldbreaker. Giant opportunity. Turn into a pumpkin. <laughs> and boom. Gilded Goose. Nice. I will take it. And a foil. And a human. Nice. Gilded Goose is a very, very good card. I think it's about four or five bucks or something like that. We'll take it any day of the week. I think I already have one or two Gilded Gooses, but I wouldn't mind having a playset. So that is a welcome addition. Moving on to the last pack, Theros Beyond Death. Made mistakes. Here we go. Why are they having a... It's, it's like, I think it's about like 10, 15 people in my hallway having a party. I'm not sure if you guys can hear it, but they're out there. Okay, Furious Rage. Stinging Lionfish. Gorgeous artwork. Hydra's growth and boom! The Acroan War. Nothing too fancy, but <laughs> look at the gold token. And a beautiful um, planes. And but the Gilded Goose will take it. Wonderful. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys.